Kate. I blog at thehippychristianmum.com. This video is how to wash your reusable nappies. <laughs> so, there's a lot to say about washing reusable nappies. Um, first of all, once you've taken off the dirty nappy, if you're using a pocket nappy like this Charlie Banana, then you can use a liner. I use a fleece liner, reusable. Um, because all the liquid soaks through this so it, it's not sitting rubbing against the skin. So you have all the dirt on there as well. So usually I'll take this into the toilet and flush it away and then so that'll check. I dry pail, some people wet pail, it's up to you. Um, so you've got your net and this uh, nap, this is my nappy bin. This was a fiver in Morrison's, it's got a lid but um, it broke, but it still goes on there, contains the smell kind of thing. Um, not that there is much smell, mind you. I've got um, essential oils, I can put a little drop in, which is nice. So the net in the pail, so that the liner would go in, and then you would, this is the horrible part with, with the pocket nappies, is you need, it'll be dirty, you need to pull it out and then check all that in the net. Ah, also I use cheeky wipes, which are just reusable wipes. You just wet them in warm water and they'll go in as well. And then you can take your net without touching all the dirty nappies. You can just bundle it up, carry it down to the wash machine. I wash every other day when I'm using reusables. I do use disposables as well. So, um, it just depends. Usually I'll probably do like a week of reusables kind of thing or a few days and I'll do, then I'll wash every other day. That seems to be fine. They don't seem to sting or anything really bad. So I'll carry it down, check it in. But before you check it in the washing machine, top tip, if you if you carry it like this done up, make sure you undo it. Don't wash them all in the net, in the bag. Undo the bag, grab the back, the bottom of it and chuck them in the machine. So they're all loose in the machine. So I always, always rinse first on a cold wash so the stains don't set um, and then I'll use a non-bio, yeah, non-bio detergent, so a little bit of powder and I literally use half the amount of powder that I would for a usual wash. Sometimes as well, if I've rinsed, I'll rinse them first and then I can add other wash in because all the excess dirt, you know, the poo is gone, has been rinsed off, so um, it depends, depends, yeah, what I do. But rinse first on a cold rinse, add half the usual amount of non-bio powder, I use nappy sand as well, which is just an antibacterial powder um, you can buy in supermarkets, but it does break down the dirt, so don't use too much because it can degrade your nappies over a long time. Um, and then I will put them on hot wash. Different manufacturers are different. The Charlie Banana one I just had, oh, which is now in my wash, um, is a, the manufacturer's instructions will be on every nappy and everyone's different. The Charlie Banana is 40, they recommend. But I do wash all my nappies then on hot wash at minimum of 60 because I like to think that it's got all the germs off and all the dirt off. Um, but I do that um, at the possible expense of the nappy's longevity, so that's up to you. Um, some ones do recommend a hot wash at 60 or over. I'll do a hot wash at 60 and then I'll usually do an extra rinse and you'll be surprised how many soap bubbles you see still in the machine. And if you do see more soap bubbles on the last rinse, then I'd rinse it again. Um, and then I'll do an extra spin as well because, and then hang them up to dry. Um, most times I'll hang them on an indoors clothes area, but there are certain ones like this insert, the Charlie Brown insert, is microfiber. So they can be tumble dried, and the microfiber insert can be tumble dried. Yeah, on low, so that's really handy for the winter. In the summer, obviously, just stick them all outside, and the sunshine helps with any stains as well, and will brighten them up to white again as well, the sunshine will. Oh yeah, don't tumble dry the, the PUL outers because that's the waterproof bit and the tumble dryer will wreck that. Oh, the only other thing I would add is if you were using Velcro, like this close pop in, a lot of them do have a wash tab, which is just 
in the clothes popping, it's hidden under there, it's really cute actually. So you would just fold it over. So then the velcro doesn't stick to grab your tights or any of your woolens or any of the clothes that you've got in with the wash. Some of them, this is the top spots before, some of them are much more simpler and they just fold in on themselves like that. But obviously with the poppers you don't have to worry about that. So yeah, any questions about washing your reusable nappies, please just ask me in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. I'm by no means an expert, but I've been using them for a little while now. I used them with my daughter as well, like six years ago. So um, I've been washing reusable nappies for a little while. I'll try to answer any questions you've got. So go. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.